peer tutoring, um, just sort of to give you one idea what we mean by that, how we would do that online. One way to do this online uh, we can conceive of is using Adobe Connect, uh, the Adobe Connect uh, web conferencing tool that the university has a license for and, and some of you like me may, may also use for teaching. It can also be used for um, online uh, tutoring. So in, in, in this scenario, we imagine uh, that a student would take, uh, would offer uh, to act as an online tutor on a specific topic, uh, let's say around a specific uh, workbook, around some, some set of exercises, and help a peer student uh, to work through those exercises, uh, provide support. Uh, in, in various forms and if, if that was done uh, online so the students don't have to meet face to face they can be physically in quite different places but they have to log in at the same time on the left hand we have uh, the tutor in this case that's me in the middle uh, we have the tutee screen that is the tutee the pupil the student in the learner role shares his or her screen uh, with a tutor so that the tutor can um, observe uh, and hear how the student uh, the pup in the in the learner role works uh, through the e exercises. Whenever there are questions or um, problems, the, the tutor can intervene. This could can further be enhanced by a whiteboard uh, and um, also uh, visible in the uh, tut in this tutor peer tutoring environment uh, could be the slides uh, that are relevant. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, attention. Again, I'm Peter Ryman uh, from the Center of uh, Research on Learning and Innovation. Uh, here's my uh, email. Don't hesitate to email me um, uh, if you want to learn more about this. Uh, thank you.